Hey, Matt. Um, in your career, you've played with some quarterbacks who are not particularly fleet-footed and some that are pretty mobile. What does it add to the offense when you have a quarterback like, like Daniel who's a threat with his legs? Uh, it just makes it harder for the defenses to be able to play uh, both the run and the pass, um, especially with Daniel him being so fast and able to make quick decisions, um, you know, because he can run it but also throw it. Um, it just makes it harder for defense. And seeing you out there lead blocking for him the other day, uh, how much do you have to do? Is that, that something new for you, or is it like you enjoyed it? Nah, I mean, part of playing football is you got to block. You know, you got to run, block, tackle, and I feel like if you want to be a good football player, you got to do all those things. So, uh, you know, I enjoy it and whatever I can do for the team. Thanks. Paul Schwartz. Hey, Matt. Um, you were in um, – uh, you got one of the carries. I think you guys might have run the same play eight straight times. Saquon kept on gaining yards, and you came in for a play. Um, have you ever been a part of that where the offense calls the same play time after time after time? Oh, yeah. I mean, if it's not uh, broke, you know, don't even got to fix it. So, uh, you know, that guess that play was working, that whole drive, and, you know, we decided to keep running with it, and, um, you know, it got us the results that we wanted. Is it um, for a running back when you see that? I mean, it, it, can you ever have too much of that when they just keep on saying, look, we got to move the clock, we got to get some yards, and we're just going to run it time after time again? You know, is that something that, you know, an offense kind of dreams of there? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, anytime you get to, you know, run the ball on a team, you know, I think it demoralizes the team when they know that you're going to run the ball and it's going to be the same play over and over and they can't stop it. Um, it's a great feeling, you know, and, um, you know, we do everything at the end of the game, and I'm happy we're able to do that. Did you get a sense of any um, um, demoralization uh, from the Jaguars yesterday down the stretch there? Oh, yeah. I mean, you look at it, those guys were tired, you know, um, towards fourth quarter. You know, like I said, we were able to run the ball like that, and those guys got to get back up and do the same thing over and over and over. Um, it makes them tired. So I think we did a great job. Uh, O-line, uh, wide receivers, tight ends, quarterbacks, running backs, we all did our job. Does it make you guys tired? No, nah, of course not. It's our job. We're supposed to run the ball. Thank you. Yep. Tom Rock. Matt, you've been on teams that uh, that made pretty deep uh, playoff runs, gone to the Super Bowl. What's uh, at what point in the season do you start to look around and say, "Oh, maybe this is this is one of those teams that could that can do that"? Um, I think your big, uh, the main thing is you got to take it week by week. You know, um, like Dave said all the time, you just got to trust the process. Um, we're trying to go one and zero every week. We're not trying to look too far ahead. I think we got guys on the team that you know have bought into that. Um, they want to play for each other, play for our coaches, and I think that's a big key to you know knowing where you want to get to. Was that the key for for that 49ers team? You think too? Uh, yeah, you know you got to play. The same mindset that you used. Yeah, you got to play on uh, on selfish football. You know, I don't think anyone's team is worried about their stats or the numbers or how many touchdowns they're going to get or interceptions. I think we all go out there and play for each other um, for every game, and uh, you know we get the results that we want. Thank you. Yep. Tom Canavan. Hey, Matt. I know you just – this is follows up on the same question, but how hard is it to, you know, you, you play the game Sunday, Monday you go over it, and then you just shut it out. Everybody makes it sound so easy, is it? Um, I think at this point, yeah. I mean, I've been playing this game since I was six years old. So, I mean, I think you get that mentality from you're a kid, you know, same thing. Uh, you go week by week all the way throughout, you know, high school and college, and it's the same mentality. So you got to let it go. There's nothing you can do. We can't go back in time. Uh, win or lose. The only thing we have guaranteed is that next game in front of us. So um, I think it's a very easy process once you, um, you know, accept it and are willing to, you know, do the stuff that requires of it. I have one other question. Did you talk to Saquon after the game and tell him he's got to park his rear end a little bit in the field? Uh, I think, you know, Saquon knows what to do in that situation. Um, we have his back no matter what. Uh, Saquon did a great job running the ball at the end of the game. I think the offense did a great job running the ball. And uh, like I said, we got the win. We'll take one more, Dan Duggan. Hey, Matt, I just want to ask you about Saquon. I mean, obviously he's playing through that shoulder injury as a running back. How difficult is it to – I don't know if you ever had to do it. I'm sure you probably at some point. How difficult to play with a shoulder injury as a running back? Um, it's always difficult when you got injuries uh, to play through that type of stuff. And um, it goes to say a lot about Saquon, um, that he's able to go out there every week and play and not let it bother him and, uh, you know, put his body on the line for this team. So, um, you know, like I said, we got a very unique team. I think all the guys want to go out there and play for each other, uh, no matter what injuries we have. It's part of football, so, you know, we all accept that. And, uh, like I said, we got a great team. I mean, you have to be on high alert. I feel like everyone, every game is like a tackler to where he hits the ground and he has to run off, so you must have to be ready. Um, it's part of your job to be ready all the time. You know, uh, we get paid a lot of money to play this game, uh, a child's game. And, you know, I don't think anyone's, you know, uh, worried about they got to go in the game. It's part of what we're supposed to do is be ready at all the times.